Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to create the home template. So first of all, I'm going to jump, I'm going to just close all these files. And within the views.py file in our library application or app, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to import from the current directory's model. Uh, I'm just going to import the book. Now, what do we want to show on the, on the home interface or on the home page? What do we want to show? Well, basically, we want to uh, iterate over all of the books that we have in our database and show all of them in the inter um, on the web page when the user wants to retrieve all of those information. So in here, I'm going to say, I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it books. So this box is going to grab all the objects, properties, or attributes from the book class, and then we are going to grab all of them. And we're going to store all of them in here. So whenever we say book, this is going to be the class. Objects, it contains all the information about that class. It contains all the records within this objects. And then we say how many records we want to grab. We want to grab the first one. Or do we want to count them? Or do we want to grab all of them? We want to grab all of them, right? And then instead of just providing an HTTP response, I'm just going to remove that from there. And in here, we want to say render. Let's provide the request. What, what shall it render? It should render library slash home.html. So let's create that. So we know that Django, by default, it expects a templates folder. So within this library app, I'm going to create a templates folder. Now, it is a best practice to provide um, a folder called uh, by the name of the name of the application, by the name of the application. <laughs> so I'm going to say another create folder. It's going to be library. Now, within this folder, we are going to create the home.html. Home.html. We are going to take a look at this. Let's, um, what shall be the name of this? This is going to be the, I'm just going to basically name it book lib. Let's provide an h1. That's going to say book lib. Just save that. So we want to, we want to show this. We want to render this template. And we do have a template variable. Now, this dictionary that we are using in here, it's called a context dictionary, if you want to get too technical about it. Now, what is the name of the variable, the template variable? It is going to, it is going to be books. So the name that I've provided within the quotes, this is the name of the variable as the key for this dictionary. And what is the value for it? The value is the books that we have created right here. So now, uh, now that we have created this uh, home.html, why don't we go ahead and provide some information in here? So I'm just going to create a div with a class of page. Within this div, I'm going to provide first thing this title. And then I'm going to create another div that is going to have a class of content. Content. There we go. Now, within this class of content, I'm going to create a UL. So let us create a UL, which is not going to have a class. Within the UL, we are going to have two divs. So we are going to have a div with a class of title. And then we are going to have a div with a class of data. There we go. So this title, what does it going to, what is it going to contain? It is going to contain the top part of our table. So in the top part, we had the title, right? We have, we, we, this is going to contain the table head. We have talked about uh, HTML tables, right? So this is going to contain the table head. What is it going to have inside of it? It's going to have an LI that is going to say LI. That is going to be title. Then another one is going to be author. And the third one is going to be a release, release year. Or year published, you could basically say. Year, I think year published is better. So year published. Now that is the title. 
what are we going to have in our data? So this data is not, we might have one book in our database, two books or potentially 100 books. Now we don't want to just grab all of them and provide them manually within our database. Now within our web page, just show them to the user. What we want to do is loop through all the books in our database and show them one by one after each time we loop through them or we iterate over them. So we have created this uh, variable. It is called books. This box has a value of books which contains all of our objects. Now this, this book this uh, book dot objects dot all this is basically an iterable so this book is going to be this is basically an iterable that we can iterate over it so how can we iterate over that we are going to say for book in books this is going to grab all of the books and then we need to terminate this loop as well so i'm going to say and for just provide that person sign. Let's remove the extra one from there. So this is going to repeat this div with a class of data for as many times, uh, for as many times as we have books in our database. And here we are going to have an li. I'm going to copy it. I'm not going to copy it. So what is going to be the first li? The first one. We what do we want to grab? We want to grab the title of the book. So we are going to say book title book book title. And in the second one, because these are the records, they have to be in, uh, in they have to be in line with the title of that. So the first one is going to be the title. The second second one is going to be the author. So I'm going to say book that author, and the third one is going to be year published. But uh, we have called that release year. Release year, which is going to be um, okay, not that one which is going to be when the book was, was published. So now that we are done with this one, I'm going to style this as well. But first, let's go ahead and let's take a look at it. Manage, manage, uh, come on, buddy. Manage.py, run server, 3333. Let's hit enter. Let's come in here, and there we go. So this is how it actually looks like. This is being, uh, all of this information is being retrieved from the database, right? And now you can see that this is not like really readable. Everything looks like a list because it actually is a list. So if, if we try to inspect this, and let me bring this up, there we go. So we have our title. So where is our title? Just bring this down. So in the title, um, in the UL, we have this div with a class of, so all of these are data. And then first off, we have the title. We have title, author, and year published. And then we have all of our data. So for every record in our database, we have repeated this div with a class of data. Now without styling, this doesn't make too much sense, right? Now the styling is very simple. Again, we are going to create a, an expected folder, which is gonna be static. Within this static, we are going to create another folder by the name of the application as a best practice library. And then in there, we are going to create a file that is going to be home.css. Uh, first things first, I'm going to create, I'm going to provide that background application, uh, sorry, background, background image. So within the book lib library, we have static within the library, I'm just going to provide that background image. So what do we want to do within this home.css? I'm going to breeze through this part because we have talked a lot about CSS, but I will type it out. So I'm not going to copy paste. First off, we are going to grab all the margin and we're going to set it to zero. We're going to grab all the padding, set it to zero. We're going to grab the box sizing, set it to border box. After we are done with this part, just uh, bring this down and just close that part. Uh, we are going to grab the body. Uh, let's provide a height of 100 uh, VH. Then a font family of uh, monospace. There we go. The background image is going to be URL. Let's provide it with home. 
underscore bg.jpg. The background position is going to be center. The background size is going to be repeat is going to be no repeat. Background size is going to be background size is going to be to cover. Let's provide all the text of the page to white. Now, just for alignment purposes, I'm going to specify display flex, which is going to grab everything and align it horizontally in accordance to the body. And then I'm going to change the direction of that flex direction and I'm going to set it to column. And I'm going to say align items, which is going to align items horizontally just to center. Let's save all of that. Let's reload the page. Alrighty, right. Okay, we have not provided uh, the path uh, for our CSS. So what I'm going to do next is just go ahead and provide the path for it. So through the link. So the relationship is going to be style sheet. Now we are going to dive into the static folder. From there, let's grab the library app. And from there, it's going to be home.css. Save that. Let's reload the page. We don't see our styles yet. Is the server running? So we have static library slash home dot CSS. Hmm. Home dot HTML library. So they are connected, aren't they? Hmm. Just open up the inspect reload the page doesn't work this time so i'm just gonna put the inspect down below why is it not accepting it it is home.css right uh we have this background we should show technically it should show so slash static library home.css i'm not sure why is it not accept grabbing the styles from there so it's going to be link style sheet the title is the book lab let me just uh, close the server run it again hmm. just go to that page there we go so everything is working nicely just a reset of the server now let's move on with our styles now uh, what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to grab First off, I'm going to rearrange uh, some of the HTML that we have in here. Now, uh, what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to add another anchor element within this class, within this div with class of data. Now, this anchor element, what it is going to do is uh, this is going to grab our list items or our books which we retrieve from from the database and when the user clicks on it the user will be redirected to another page but for now if we just click on it it's not going to work you can see we are not getting redirected because this is not an anchor element so how can we convert it to an anchor element that is clickable so uh just outside this diff but make sure you are inside the loop because we want this anchor element to be repeated as many times as many objects that we have in our database so i'm going to create an anchor element so it's an anchor element the href is that we are going to use our url template tag because it is a best practice to name our url mappings and we are going to create the name for this now um, you know what I'm gonna do this later for now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna provide the styles we are gonna come back to that later because that is not going to make so much sense that is something that we are going to do in our next lecture right so I'm just gonna grab an anchor tag that has an ID of uh, book under uh, book dash link I'm gonna provide the styling but we are gonna create that in the HTML in our next lecture or probably this one so text decoration is going to be none border uh, let's just provide it with border bottom uh, it's going to be thin solid and white uh, let's style the h1 as well so the h1 is going to be uh, it's going to have a font 
font size of 65 pixels the margin bottom is going to be 25 25 pixels the text align is going to be center so text align uh, center let's grab all of our allies and let's style them so for all of them I want the list style to be equal to none let's save all of that let's go down I'm gonna grab the page that is the container of all of our content this is the page and I'm gonna provide some styling for this so first the background color because the text is not that readable we should have some better contrast right I'm just gonna provide a background a background color for all of those so this text is readable better readable and the background color is going to be RGBA so I'm going to provide 50 57 34 and an alpha channel of 0 0.65 let's provide it with a uh, width of 100 VW and a height of 100 VH not VW VH padding for the top and bottom is going to be just remove those for top and bottom is going to be 30 pixels for left and right is going to be 45 pixels so we are done with that as well let's grab the content div and from there we're going to grab the UL let's say display flex just for alignment purposes so display flex and then I'm going to say flex direction let's set it to column then I'm going to grab the div with with the class of title let's provide a background color for it that has this code 009879 the color is going to be color is going to be white so white the border um, top left radius is going to be five pixels and the border top right radius is also going to be five pixels I feel like this is getting a little bit boring so what I could do is I could just I, I know I just said that I'm not going to copy paste but I feel like this is like dragging all these primitive styles a lot so let's just provide those and I'm just going to provide the styles for this one as well so for the title and for the data divs we have some padding display grid now grid is uh, advanced highly advanced CSS so I, I don't actually expect you to understand what I've written in here in case you're wondering and in case you're interested in learning about diff I do have a complete course so feel free to check that out it's the modern flexbox uh, great SaaS and animations developer course it's a bestseller course it's a very very cool course and there we create three fully fresh uh, fully fledged applications so then we have provided some specific styles for the data the li and then the anchor tag which is the last child I'm going to show you the style later so let's save all of that and uh, let's refresh the page there we go so this is what I've actually done and I'm not sure why is that right there I mean what is that what is that about so, diff with a class of page div with a class of page and h1 the this div with a class of content have I messed up the Mm, let's just save this so this is going to contain everything right Div with a class of page oh the height is 100 VH not 10 VH let's just reload that there we go so I didn't really need that overlay after all but I'm just gonna provide it here so this is the title thus that border top left radius and border top right radius is going to be like this little bit of curve that we have on this on these two uh, corners and all these styles are provided now I have provided some styles for the uh, anchor element with the with the where is it 
which is the last child it is going to have a border which is going to be which is going to be different in color and it's going to be thicker right so the last element the last uh, book that is being retrieved from the database is going to have a different uh, underline you can see that white underline for each of these elements we are going to take care of that in our next lecture so see you in the next one